Hi, I'm Fiddler Man, and I want to show you two products that you can get at Fiddler Shop. One is this extremely practical piezo um, clamp-on piezo pickup. You see how I have it clamped on the bridge right there? And it has a real good secure uh, plug option for it, as you can see. It, it attaches pretty much the same way as a chin rest does if you know how they attach. So it's super secure, it's not gonna go anywhere. And it's got the quarter inch, or you can get the eighth inch uh, plug if you like as well, but the quarter inch is better in my opinion. Then we have this uh, RMS AC40. It's a 40 watt amplifier, which does pretty much anything you need it to do, and more. And it's very well priced. You'll get a shock if you go on uh, Fiddler Shop and check out the price. Now, it's got this beautiful, vintage look to it. It's got the leather casing look and it's got the protective uh, wire mesh here on it. And it's got all the uh, options that you need. You have two different inputs here, or two different channels I should say. You have the channel so you can have, for example, a CD line in or a computer. If you want to have playback and have some fun, you, you turn on some kind of playback and just start jamming with this channel right here. And you also have the mic line for the uh, for microphone. and if you have a regular uh, instrument cable and you just want a straight input, you don't want any effects or anything, then you can use this one right here. Or if you have a buddy playing along with you, they could be here. They can have their effects on an effect box or a multi-effect box, whatever, and it'll come out just the same. Then you have a level for that channel. Then we go over to the what they call the guitar channel, which we'll call the violin channel in this case, which gives you the option of changing the tonal qualities. You can you have four different levels. You have the four different frequencies that you can adjust. So right now I have the volume in the middle on number five. It doesn't have 11. It only has 10, but it gives you more sound than you're ever going to need. I can promise you that. And then if I go and adjust the low frequency, I'm going to turn it up a quarter turn, and I'm going to take the high frequency and turn it down a quarter turn and have you listen to that. So that's with more low frequencies. It gives a darker, deeper sound. So if I turn down the low frequency a quarter turn and turn up the high one a quarter turn, you'll hear what it sounds like when it's a brighter violinistic sound. So that's a question of taste. I prefer the low when it comes to electric, but I'm going to put it all in the middle here. But my point is that you can make a lot of changes that will affect the sound of your violin if you're not completely satisfied with an, an amplified. And in my opinion, this is the most practical solution that you can go with if you're going to be playing both electric and playing acoustically. Then this is an extremely good option because you get a high quality piezo pickup with this Barkis Berry clamp on and you have the uh, option to change the sound. Now. On the guitar channel, you also have a reverb button here, and right now I have it set in the middle. So we'll let you hear. that you're playing in a in a cathedral or a church and I can increase that a lot we're only in the middle now there's there's five more numbers on that thing so you can put a lot of reverb and then you have the chorus here I'll do the same thing with a chorus and for those of you who don't know what a chorus is chorus is when you add a little bit of delay and a little bit of echo that makes it sound like it's a lot of instruments right <laughs> feel that these are the idea effects uh, reverb with chorus and you have uh, extremely large sounding instrument so I'll do the same thing I did before the beginning of the Bach G minor it's large and it's long and it's big
combination of the reverb and the chorus. Now I'm taking them off, turning it off. So all we have now is the amplified and the, um, what do you call it, the balance of the, the straight flat sound of the frequencies adjusted here. Then you have an output, uh, and you're probably wondering what these things are, I'll tell you in a second. It's a send and a return. So if you want to have, for example, an effect box, I haven't turned on the effect box, it's on bypass right now, but you have the option to do that as well. Then here you have the line out. What you use the line out for is you're on stage, doing a gig, playing with a bunch of buddies, and you want you know, the mixture, the guy who's doing the sound for the whole, uh, for the whole area, for the whole room, they're going to use that output, they're going to put it in the mixer board and balance everything. So that's what you have your output for, for the, the system that's going to be used externally. And then we have, as I said before, the, the return and the send for the effect box. Now I'll just turn this on right here. So I have basically the same thing as I had before. The, core, the chorus and the reverb on this one, but it's a different one. It's the one that comes on the Zoom G2. just another kind of effect, another kind of reverb, another kind of chorus. sound because there is none. Uh, right now I have a, some guitar distortion but normally when you have these sounds they keep going even when you don't play so I turned up the noise reduction which also destroys the effect a lot but you can play around endlessly with this thing and have as much fun as you want. So like I said this is in combination with the uh, Barkis Berry clamp on uh, piezo microphone 
And another <laughs> great advantage of any clamp-on piezo microphone is that, let me see if I can turn this off. Okay. That's the bypass. The advantage is that you don't have to worry about feedback. You can get right in front of here, and it's not going to give you feedback. And that's an incredibly good thing to have. So to have a quality, high-quality pickup on your bridge that won't be affected by feedback and still be able to put out as much volume as you want. And like I said, I'm not even close to the highest volume on this thing, and we're getting plenty of sound. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for watching.